This game is going to turn 10 years old in 2025, and it's only going to be a matter of time until EA decides to pull the plug on the servers. It's unknown what EA is going to do with 2015 once its time runs out, knowing how Ubisoft treats the crew, specifically the first game. All I'm asking is for this game to get an offline patch, just to keep it alive. And I know, Ghost Games doesn't really exist anymore, and it's unknown who they're going to use, but something has to be done. That way we don't have to rely on the community to just keep the game alive on the PC. Again, I doubt EA is going to budge, but I like to be proven wrong on this. Because this game didn't need to be always online. <laughs> You know, after seeing the countless of trailers that this game has gotten before its release, you will think you will be seeing a lot of action in the game itself. But this is the only cutscene that has that kind of action. Everything else is just interacting with characters. Alright man, see you never again. Just make sure you stay inside so you don't get caught lacking on probation. You gotta come and check this out. There's some big names in town. I'll introduce you to my guy Travis. He's got a bunch of cars he's trying to get rid of, man. No sweat. Three cars isn't a bunch. It's not like we're gonna get immediate access to the entire car list to pick our first car. I know this is nitpicky, but wouldn't this invitation include Ventura Bay in the address? Just saying that there could be multiple places with the same number and street in this fictionalized version of California. And I know, you could tell the difference with the zip code, but still. 8pm till late? What's really considered late for a game that's only taking place in nighttime? Oh my man, you made it! Looking smooth, man. That's good. There's some real people in here tonight. Uh, come on, I'll take you to meet my guys. Come on. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Who's Bambi? This Bambi just busted a 500-foot drift right through the I-5 intersection over Turner, man. Oh, the skinny skid row, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Must have been something. Haven't seen Spike this hype since, uh, well, he's always this hype. <laughs> that's why you love him. And I can see that you love Monster Energy because that's the reason why you're always hyped up. Sup, Ames? Sup? That's Amy. Isn't she lovely? Ooh, love you too, bae. Lovely relationship. Or something like that. I don't know. I get no bitches. Travis! Yo, someone I want you to meet. Oh, yeah? Tell me why. You should have seen this guy, man. Control off the hook. Well, you seem to have caught the eye of Speed Racer over here. Truth, man, this one's a helmsman. You want to know how I did it or you want him to say it? Oh, I guess nobody is going to. There's some top grade talent in town who's ready to make history. Serendipity, brother. Stars aligning. Never a better time to start a project, Bill. So whatever's happening under that rib cage in here, it's time to start expressing it out there. Take him out for a shakedown. Maybe one of these mongrels will take a shine to you. Hey, yo, Travis! Why is it only monster in the fridge, man? You need to start stocking up something else. Too many of these will give you a heart attack. Or somebody. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. They call me Feller. So, I'm assuming Travis is selling you one of these three, isn't he? Personally, I go either for the Civic or the BRZ. I'm not saying the fox body is bad or anything, but I've seen you pull up to this party with a fox body, so I don't know why would you want another one, assuming the one you came with still runs, doesn't it? But you do you. And since you're getting one of these, mind if I take that fox body you came with out of your hands? It can't stay at the front forever, you know. But here, we're going to make a trade deal right here, right now. That way you don't feel empty-handed without your original car. Because I'm going to give you the keys to this M3 E46 that I have. It has a particular livery of a particular car that was wanted in Rockport. But don't worry. If the police ever chase you, they're not really going to do much. 
they're nothing compared to the police up in Rockford or even in Redview County. And as a bonus here, I'll throw in this Deluxe Edition car. With that, 10% off on everything. Cars, parts, you name it. Is that cool? All right, my man. So, with that, I'll be taking the keys of your Fox body. I'll be seeing you out on the road. Ow. Yo. Welcome to the clan, brother. How much exactly did I have to pay Travis to get the BRZ, the Civic, or the Fox body anyway? Come on, Ames, I just need you to listen to it. Make sure she's purring like she's supposed to. What's up, man? Please, up, Spike? please. Oh. She's parked just outside. Spike, Come on. like I said, I got guys with no trust fund paying full price for this, so. Really? It's, it's like that, huh? It's like that. Wait. There. Wow, wow, I, I feel so much better now. Hey, feel better that he owes you. And Spike, you owe her 10 grand. Emmanuel! Emmanuel! Get your ass over here. Over where? We're over here. Nobody owed her anything over five bucks. It's a diner. Everything's over five bucks. Spike, if you're broke, just say that. No dessert, man. I'm gonna have to get out there and find some competition. Just waiting for the 411 on the location. Uh, I was thinking of heading back up to the club. You should come. <laughs> Do what? The streets are slick and the night is young. I'm racing night. Mm. Night may be young, but it's always going to be dark. I'm going to head back to the shop. Uh, you want to tag along? We can set you up some space. Ooh, she going to spiff you up, bro. Mm, I really want to spiff that. Oh, what? Wait, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I need the space, too. I'll head back with you. I bet you that all of these coffee mugs here have monster in them. Seeing this, that uh, this game has a lot of product placement for Monster Energy, and I highly doubt that's coffee in those coffee mugs. And if it is coffee, I highly doubt that's decaf as well. Everyone here has a sleeping problem. Tonight, we ride. Huh, <laughs> he said the tagline. Dame, forgot to tell you, I heard some weirdness coming from your ride earlier. Or maybe it was Spike. Hmm, yeah, maybe it was Spike. Uh, whatever. Could be both. It's not like the BRZ is better than the M2 and vice versa with reliability anyway. Alright, 2015 is the closest we're gonna get to an Underground 3. You know what Underground 1 and 2 let you do? Drive in the city. Regardless for what event in both games or in free room for Underground 2. And this is the only game in the franchise that has a downtown, but it doesn't let you drive in the streets of downtown. I get this game's theme, but at the same time, why be locked away to drive in downtown? Heck, think about the things that could have been possible to do in that area. Whoa, hey, what was in that coffee mug at the diner? I can hear you creeping out there. Yeah, touch my playlist and die. Hey, I would if I could find your phone and your Bluetooth speaker, but I don't see neither of them around. Travis mentioned you worked a couple cars yourself, so that's cool. Uh, okay. One house rule. Use whatever tool you want, honestly. Just put them back where you found them. Other than that, knock yourself out. Uh, oh, this is my latest obsession. Here. <laughs> Listen to that cloud, man! This is going to be my master build. This? Master Bill is going to take an eternity to get finished with that cold star red that you just did. Okay, well I'm I'm done. I'm gonna head out. Maybe catch Spike. Uh oh, Travis shifted those rides so there's space for you now. And you should take it before he replaces that junk with more junk. With what? More used cars? It's a, it's a good time to uh, get your head straight, you know? Plan your build. Channel your vision. But limited depending on the car and depending what customization is available. Okay. I'm gone. I'm out. Um, have fun. And maybe I'll see you out there, yeah? Oh, and um... Put the tools back. Alright, chill, but... Keep your bots unlocked. Bro, great news. We got this sweet deal going with a storage firm. We can now stow away cars we don't use. No need to sell them. But still have very limited space. But hey, at least we got 10 spaces now. Oh. Hey man, you can't part like that. Oh. Hey. Yeah, you right. 
I don't know a damn thing about pool. Uh -huh. uh, what does that mean? Is that good? Good shot. Wrong ball. You're so confident, why don't we raise the stakes a little, huh? <laughs> Four dollars. That's why he couldn't afford anything at the diner, because everything was over five dollars. Where you drive? You don't need a plan B. Oh, man, you can learn something from our friend who, you know, keeps his mouth shut and his eyes open. Man. Yeah, my mouth is shut because I'm a mute. My eyes are open, but I need to sleep. Oh, oh it's almost time. <laughs> How much caffeine have you had, Spike? Robin's right, man. Slow your roll. No, it's not just Spike. Everyone needs to slow their roll. I haven't seen anyone in this game drink anything that doesn't have caffeine. Sure, there's lots going on, but I'm gonna sit back a while, see what shakes out. Yeah, yeah, I could use a breather. Hey, where's Robin at? Don't worry, Spike. She'll be there. <laughs> what? Nah, man, I'm just saying, you know, getting the whole crew together would be good. That's all. Mm-hmm. Your secret's safe for that. And the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it. What about Travis? Not sure. I'll text him again. Why don't y'all get over to the diner and I'll catch up to you? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, this game has a tendency of need for calling during missions. Oh, we're setting up a highway run. No joke, so make sure whatever you show up with can pull. Or maybe even get Ames to help you out, because these guys, they ain't playing. Later. Yeah, let me just beat her in this race that I am doing as part of her missions. And see if I can make this pump gas kick car faster than it already is. Ow. Yo, my man. You good? Hmm. I wouldn't leave your cup of monster where you put it if I were you. Let me tell you something about Magnus Walker, right? So the guy, he falls in love with his first Porsche when he was like 10 years old, right? And now, now he has this bunch of amazing Porsches, man. He set a new style. You know what that lifestyle basically inspired? That everyone should own a 911 RSR as a meta car from this game onwards. He even owns his own goddamn bridge. Yeah. See, that could be us, bro. Spike Bridge. Damn, I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just gonna be me. I wouldn't want to be in a bridge that has a lot of spike strips, if you know what I mean. Wow, you're getting the full <laughs> service tonight. Whatever you do, don't ask him about Magnus Walker. <laughs> Too late. I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> exactly. He assumed that I asked, but when did I ask? The state police, we got a report of a dude ripping up the street. <laughs> Just playing, man. All units be advised, we have a suspect trying to be funny on the radio by saying, dude, on radio communications. I need all available units to head over to the Longhorn and detain the suspect. Oh, yeah, hey, look, check this. Urban outlaw himself. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm hearing some crazy things, guys. Tell me it's legit. Mm, damn right, man. We totally spoke to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, if this don't get Magnus's attention, <laughs> you should probably retire. Get what? With what was it recorded with? The phone? Ow. You know what I said earlier about drinking something else? I still think that's Monster in the Scouts. Okay, okay. That's all good, but it ain't how he did it. Hey, you hear that? You hear what Manu said? All run didn't count, man. That's not what I said. I said Magnus did that run with a ride maybe pushing 250 horse, if that. Ah, uh, whatever, dude. Haters are just trying to take away what we did. It ain't got nothing to do with the haters, bro. Look, people are talking, following your lead. But I'm just saying, if you really want to impress, do it like he did. Do it with a ride under 250, that's all. Fine, you want it, you got it. Man, you just don't get it. I'm on your side. Yeah, sure, I get it. You know what, forget it. I'll catch y'all later. Yeah. Later. Yo, you believe that? Them trying to push us down? Well, what we did, screw that. Spike, again, it's not about that they're hating. It's about if you're gonna get somebody's attention, do it the way that they did it. Because anyone could have done it so easily with a car that's over 250 horses. Where's Travis at? I don't know. Look, Magnus posted a new challenge. I must have been tripping thinking I could take on that guy. Relax, man. You did good out there. Both of you. Good isn't good enough. You, do, you don't make history by being good. This guy, this guy was great, man. I wanted to be great. Then get good. 
I just set up a little run you might want to try. Nothing crazy. But it's crazy that you're somehow calling me as I am beating one of your time trial records. Ow. Yeah, man. How do you get your handle? Don't look at me. Nah, it was you. I can tell. Ow. You know what this means, bro? I guess you earned it. Not this again. You both earned it. No, Rob, you gotta hand it to me. The way our homie here smashed those rat runs, no wonder Magnus hit him up first. It's because I'm pulling most of the way, if not all of it. What are you doing? Alright, let's get this thing started, yeah? From here to the other side. You figure out the way, I'll see you at the end. Figure out the way? What is this, Midnight Club? Oh, yo, hey, you're up. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hope you're better in this fool. <laughs> to see what you got. Yeah, drink. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Stick to driving. At least I didn't sink in an eight ball too early. Yo, man. Hey, you okay? Which one was it, man? Huh? Was it the 277? Yeah? I bet you don't even know this, man. This is personal favorite. Yo, it's a beef, dude. Magnus offered this guy a drive. In one of his own 9-11s, no less. How did he even get your number, man? Huh? Hey, is that right? What did you do? I gave it to him. Relax. Relax? Yeah. Relax? That was my right! I earned that! Mike, stop it! Chill, man. Come on. We're all on the same side here. Travis is just pushing you because he wants you to be great. I don't need his help. And that new guy over here is getting all the credit. Yeah? What? Huh? Yo, get out of my face! Oh, I'm gonna whoop your ass for real. You wanted the recognition? You should have been doing your own thing instead of relying on me. You wouldn't even be recognized without me. We're on the same side, and this is how you repay me? I'm getting out of here. That's what a stupid ass gets. Getting all up in my face. You got me fucked up with that. Hey, come here. Here. Seriously? This is what you wanted. You're on Magnus's radar. One of us gets noticed, we all get noticed. It's a package deal. Alright? Alright. It's cool. Fool. Dumbass. I'm sorry, man. I just want this so badly. You know? We good? Let's get out there and do this, man. Yeah. yeah. Alright, this game's story isn't known for having an actual antagonist like other games. I'm not saying that it needs one since it's perfectly fine as it is, but it would have been better if it did have one, and this could have been the start of it. Hey man, it's me, Magnus. So here's the deal. These are my all-time favorite downtown runs. Just watch out for those cruisers. What are they gonna do? Pull me over? Oh, here he is, man. What's up? Hey, reminds me of my younger self. Yeah, but I bet your younger self didn't have that sweet a ride. You got that right for sure. Always go with your gut feeling, though. Amen to that, brother. Hey, Spike. <laughs> Travis speaks highly of you. Thank you, man. That, that really means a lot. <laughs> I know we're in a bar and it's pretty loud with the music and the crowd, but I'm surprised Spike didn't notice Magnus sooner, especially how close he was. Later. That's what too much monster energy does to a person. It's not alcohol, but it is a problem. Staring at the walls and hearing voices. I need to see a human face. Let's meet. You good? Where are you at in the garage? Look, Robin. Man who ain't got a mean bone in his body. Maybe so, but he's got a whole lot of sexist then. Uh, you're reading him all wrong, girl. Ames is right. Man who comes from a different world of you. And some of that, well, he's just overcompensating. Someone better uncompensate him. He says some pretty rude things. I'll take care of it. Just remember, it's the heart behind the words, not the words themselves, okay? What did he say, though? Ah, uh, so, Rob, 
Spike's heading over. Said he had something for me. You want to hang out, too? <laughs> Don't fall for it, Ames. It'll be a breadcrumb trail straight to that cheap ECU he installed. <laughs> More like a trail to his car as a whole. Amazing. I know, right? Hey. Yeah. Back mm -hmm. Great work. Yeah. I bet it took you all day to come up with that. <laughs> Thought you needed the inspiration is all. To let her know that she's simping. Well, I just hope that one day I can build something half as good as Nakai San. What did I tell you? We are only limited by what we can imagine. <laughs> Don't blame Travis, blame the game. Can't do much with these cars. Speaking of limitations, I've been thinking about what it would take to blow the ceiling on an engine to. I'm talking stupid power. Simple. Whole bunch of cash and a lot of work, that's what. All I'm saying is, when did we all get so comfortable? We didn't get into this just to sit back and play it safe. Think about it. The rep you need to get the cash to build a ride like that, now that's something that takes commitment. <laughs> Sorry, man. I ruined it, didn't I? You didn't ruin it. You blew it. Not bad, not bad. But I am not gonna blow too much sunshine. Otherwise, you might get cocky. Not as cocky as Spike. Hey, it's Amy. I changed my mind. I need to get out. How about a rip? No, change your mind again. I'm being chased by the cops. Look, I'm just playing. That's it. Well, no one's laughing, man. I get it. Like I said, I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Won't happen what again? What did Manu said? Hey, newbie. You watch yourself now. Ames is a tough cookie. Hey, I already know that. She already threatened me to not leave her tools out in the open. Dude, hey, you have to let me post these bill pics, man. The man himself might see him, you know? Sure, go ahead. I haven't even done anything with the C6, so what are the pictures going to be posted for? But don't be posting pictures of the M3, though. Last thing I need is a bounty hunter from Rockport to come down here and try something funny, you know? Like pinstripes. Even if it's not the actual car. We ain't about Widowmakers in here. No. So, balance in your belt to handle all that power, that is stage two, okay? You know that, uh, Nakai San? He used to be a street racer just like us. And now, he travels the world building cars with very concerning clients. It's true. I am pretty incredible. There's no way you was able to hear everything she was saying with the volume you had your headphones on. I just posted a, a picture of our builds. <laughs> Sweet. What did you capture in mind? The beginning? Because I haven't done anything yet. Hey, you spent way too much time under that hood anyway. We need to get you back on the streets. Race. Don't point at me. What do you think I've been doing? And someone said the cops were slowing things down. Whatever. I haven't seen so much going on since the city strike. Strike on what? Driving in downtown? Great run, man. Uh, I think it could have gone a bit better for me, though. I felt a bit of a delay when I got on the throttle, and I'm gonna go and check it out. That's just this game's handling. Don't worry about it. Holy... Surprise. No, no, no. Travis... You stole Nakai San's car? You said you wanted balance, flawless bodywork? Here it is. You stole his car! Hey, hey, I am no thief. You look like a thief. Yeah, that's right. You take Nakai's ride for a drive and find out what all the fuss is about. Never said you actually knew him, Travis. <laughs> Nakai, Obama, the Dalai Lama. Eddie, Melissa, I bet Travis knows everybody. And I mean everybody. You did good, guys. But this is the next level. Until you've handled a master build, you'll always be an apprentice. <laughs> Go on, take it and learn. Be first, man. I'll see you out there, okay? Oh, oh, oh. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> I'll keep the car afterwards anyway. Hey, so come on, man. I wanna see what Nakai San's car can do. Grow a pair and get out here. Drive it yourself. Go to a highway and find out. Yo, it's Ames. Okay, I've had my fun. Your turn. Play nice with Nakai San's car, you hear me? Hey, don't worry. I will. Nothing is going to happen to his car. Bail on whatever you're 
doing, because there's drivers looking to hook it up. Like if I was doing anything anyways. And if I was doing another event, no. Hey, it's me. Truth or dare. You pick dare. Tune your ride, then find somewhere to max it. Alright, my turn. Truth or dare. You pick truth. Do you really simp over Nikai-san? Hey, Flash. Saw your pose. I hope someone got that on camera. Probably the traffic camera because nobody was with me, I wasn't recording, so how would anyone know that I was going over 200 with my car? Besides the cop that's chasing me. Look, Spike, just stay the course. That's easy for everyone else to say, man. Amy's doing good, Newbie's doing good. Where does that leave me? On the right track. On the bench? Because I haven't seen you do anything that matches what I do. I like how this is supposed to be a call from Amy, but she doesn't even speak throughout this entire conversation. Sure, it could have just been added to listen in, but this would have been either a Travis or a Spike phone call, talking about his jealousy. Hey man. Hey Spike, get out of the way. Move. Yeah. You gotta move too. You're blocking the screen. Akai-san. Yo, I'm a Spike. So, no more. <laughs> what do you say about me? Huh? That you goofy, and you need to calm down. Okay, it will be a different story if the subtitles are turned off. But when the subtitles are turned on, and if you're playing with the Japanese dub, at that point is it necessary to translate what Nakai-san is saying? And I know, it's time consuming and a lot of effort to make different cutscenes for different regions around the world, but it's kind of unnecessary. Unless the dub has different dialogue, but I'm just saying. Dude, you better talk to Spike. He's laying a lot of blame for this mess in here on you. I can't deal with it. Seriously, I'm coming out. What did I do? Does he need another ass whooping? So, you make up your mind? <sighs> I just don't want to hurt him. Playing both sides is going to hurt both of them and make you look bad. Yeah, you're right. I'll deal with it tonight. Hey, I uh, heard about the party. You hitting me up for the invite? No. I need you to pick up my laundry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> funny. Big love for you, Spikey. That's what this is all about? Now I am getting invited? Alright, whatever, but who the hell told that I'm like to put that livery on? Get it off! Yo, you are part of the family now. Mikasa, Sukasa. I mean, I practically live here now anyway. He says, we are the next generation, man. No, he said that I am. There's no we. Great parking. Finally! Something that isn't monster or anything caffeinated. Too bad Robin or anyone else doesn't drink that water bottle. Let me tell you, right? Drifting is too safe. What? There's no buzz in it. There's not. Says who? You? Come on, Amy, back me up. Uh, well, I kind of love it and hate it. Like, it hurts me to hear it bouncing off the limiter like that. But, but, I do get a rush when I'm holding it at that sweet spot. i seen you with your S15. Don't say that you hate it. Have a seat, man. Robin, that can is empty. Don't give me that. He hates on the drift for one reason only. He sucks at it. Figure. Skill issue. That's why he's need for speed, not need for drift. You need a certain finesse to hold that slide or home with precision. It's all about riding the tipping point. Am I right or am I right? You're never wrong. Nah, you're wrong. Look, I get it. Apples and oranges, you know? Ah, you see, Robin here, she's got class. Got that steady hand. Hmm. Spike? He be yanking on the e-brake like a teenager fresh out of driver's head. <laughs> Come on, he's not that bad, Manu. It's just a good thing his old man has deep pockets is all I'm saying. That he isn't taking advantage of making a drifting setup for his M2. Or get a different car and make a drift setup out of that. Hey, bro. There's a route I wanted to show you, but it looks like I might be a bit late. <laughs> to Edward 24, I need to run a party both ways over. Roger, 24. Yeah, I'm gonna be late. This is your vehicle? Yes. License and registration. I just got pulled over, man. Sir, get off your phone. Manu, how did you get pulled over? And if I were you, I would start recording instead of calling. Dude. Check this out.
You have much to learn, young grasshopper. I thought you know I was there, man. I thought you were meditating. I was visualizing. Besides, meditation is about being more present, Spike. I'm drifting off into oblivion. Yeah, even listening to loud music, too. Yeah, I do. What's your point? Hmm? You don't sit in your comfy ass mat getting present before a race, no? man. No, you get pumped, blasting tunes or something, man. Like what he's been doing since we got here? Because I can hear it from here. You know about Cam Block, right? Uh, again with the block, man. Hoonage for days, son. Dude's got some crazy videos. Uh, Gymkhana tubes have over 100 million hits. It's like, it's like watching an action movie, except it's real, you know? <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen this already, but... I always worth checking his latest stuff. Hmm. I... <laughs> I'll text you the link. No, he won't. And if the video in question that you want to look for is Jim Connor 7, and Manu, pay your phone bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Hold on to that strong grip, son. <laughs> <laughs> Spike bullying. Yo, man, I gotta get out of the city. Cops are all over me for some reason. Hey, you guys there? Yeah, I was just saying I'm thinking of heading up to El Rey. Shred some toga or something. When you said get out of the city, I thought you meant out of Ventura Bay, not to go to another area of the same place. Ow. I'm gonna have to check it out of the bunker. My cell's acting up, so uh, maybe I'll see you over there, alright? Dude, pay your bill. Or just get Wi Fi. Damn, I so wanna build a unicorn RTR. Just like that. Ames. <laughs> you could build a Hoonasaurus Rex. Wow. You know? The Hoonasaurus Rex should be a real thing. Given when this game came out, I don't know if it would have been a Ford F 150 Raptor or. The T Rex from Need for Speed 2? What up? You know, you're still clowning around with these fools, man. Be quiet. Watching donuts. Yo, Spike. You need to watch this. Even your hating ass has to give block props. Mm, you're gonna make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> watch it. Seriously, old man, it's top of the line. Yeah, top of the line. Check that. I heard he has to get all the streets shut down, and it still takes him like a day to shoot this little gravel sling. Huh? Oh, man. So dope, man. Hey, if you don't want to get arrested or anyone get arrested, this is the legit way of doing it. Oh. 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 What's it gonna take to convince you then? Huh? All I'm saying is you take away all the movie magic. Mm -hmm. And what's left? Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Now, come on now. Let's say we shoot a run in one take. No edits. Yeah, right. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> a one take, Jim Connor. This ain't any old Jim Connor. We gonna recreate. Cans run, move for move. Okay. Place for place, stunt for stunt? Because it's not gonna be a 100% accurate. Ow. And also, in one take? What if I mess up by accident? What if the take wasn't good enough? And record it with what? A GoPro? A phone? Mount it where? I like the idea and ambition, but there's just so many flaws and things to consider. Ow. Hey, buddy. Pretty sure I found all the spots Can did in his run. Got some good spots to set up the cameras, too. Okay, that solves the camera situation now that we have multiple. But the spots? Yeah, it's pretty much what the game provided you with. You nailed Cam's run. Weapons great, straight up. Huh? 10,000 hits in under an hour. <laughs> Way more than the one I posted to Spike singing Frozen in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did good. Come on. Let them have their 15 minutes, Spike. Travis. You see the clip? <laughs> Congrats, boys. It's cute. Mm. Exactly like blocks. <clears throat> Ooh. What? Yo, Travis, let us have our 15 minutes of fame. Damn. Hey, yo, yo, guys, 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 quiet, quiet. Hey, quiet. 
Hey, Ken. Nope, one take. No tricks. Yeah, no tricks. We didn't do any stunts during that run, aside from drifting and a few ramps. Appreciate it. Later. <laughs> that was Ken. <laughs> he saw the video. <laughs> Going featured on the Hoonigan blog. <laughs> Damn, man, you should be stoked. <laughs> nah, man. Nah. Mm-mm. Nah. We need to make something so fresh that even Travis can't knock it. Get our fingerprints all over this one. Yeah. You with me? If I get royalties for the first video in this one. I don't know what I want. And whatever. Let's not do this now. Why? Because a new boy? Spike! Just don't. Yeah, Spike. I messed up because of you. What's his problem? What isn't? I hear that. Let's go chill. What do you say? Can. Got things lined up. Like what? Things. Like spectating me in this event? Alright, bro. You crushed those, man, but we gotta push on. Hype don't last long if we sit around and do nothing. Unless if you are GTA 6. Man, I've been hitting these runs one after another, bro. It's been good, too. Except for a couple of close calls with the cops. Speaking of cops... We'll talk later. Peace. <laughs> Block party. Black beauty. Sunset. <laughs> hey, yo. Nice. Yo. Hey, yo. Some people I want you to meet. Hmm? Hey. What's up? I'm Vaughn. <laughs> What's up? I'm Ken. Nice job. As of the time that I'm recording this and whenever this video gets uploaded, watching this cutscene and any other cutscene that Ken Block is in just hit different. It's crazy to think that we're supposed to impress five different icons and one of them isn't with us anymore. I'm just going to remove 43 sins in honor of Ken. Hey, whatever you do, don't embarrass us, bro. Keep your paint to yourself, all right? <laughs> ah, what do you know? I feel that. Congratulations, that was awesome. All right, we'll work out some time. All right. All right. Ken, you've got to check out this risky devil footage. Oh, you know those devils? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, can't wait to meet them, too. I'm a hooner. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So how does it feel? You guys were hooning with the best of them. Couldn't have done it without this dude. You couldn't have done it without us, right? No, I could have done that on my own. Manu got you locked in his trunk. <laughs> I don't know how tall the player is, but I doubt that he can fit inside the trunk of the Miata. Assuming if Manu did anything to it. Look, like I said, you, me, a nice twisty road, horsepower, it's miles per mile. Come on, where's your FOMO, dude? It's not FOMO if the event doesn't go away if you didn't do it. Sweet drift. As Spike likes to say, for real. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Thought for sure by now you and Spike would be getting matching tattoos. Oh hell no. This is dope, right? Oh man, I'm starving. Where's my goddamn pepperoni? My stomach is eating itself. Oh, lifesaver. Hmm. Well, it's only a couple hours old. And that's not even pepperoni. That's just what luncheonly looks like. Mm. Is there some people in town you've got to meet? They call themselves Risky Devil. Man, I've seen him head out with bodywork, taped up, zip tied, anything to get back on the block. <laughs> and I see that one of them has an S4 team in the background that isn't in the game. Mm. See, like this? <laughs> this rim would give Amy an aneurysm. Like, totally. <laughs> I know she will freak out after one hit in Pro Street, that she will instantly use a repair marker or repair the car with money. 
Awesome! You found it! Yeah, I found a fish out of water. Man, that was cray fish. Sick. Cray fish? You're craving fish? You've got to come to this next meet. Huge crowd, big atmosphere, not to be missed. Great crowd, right? This is it. Keep close and don't trip anyone up. Wow, what a big crowd that we have here. It's just us two and a guy that's in a car that we haven't had for the past decade or so now. Damn, this is pretty big. Not gonna lie. This right here is what we're trying to achieve. Man, what's wrong with this thing? You know what you should be achieving? Better Wi-Fi. What the hell, Robs? I thought we were meeting up. Yeah, meeting up here. Oh, man. You ran away to join the circus too, huh? Travis and you? Uh, no. No, I was, uh, I was maxing at the diner. And I caught this hype, some asshat train on the freeway. Guess my invite got lost, yeah? Didn't think it was your scene. It ain't. <clears throat> well, you keep it real classy, yeah? I'm out. Forget him. He's just jelly. When isn't he? You better pick up this message, cause this is it. So is this a voice call or a voice message? Yeah, it may look like a voice message since I'm in the pause menu, but whatever audio that gets played in game is the same audio that gets replayed here, so what would this be considered by picking up this message? Don't be shy. They're just regular guys like you and me. So weird. They just hit me up like two minutes ago. <laughs> Regular, you said. Anything but. Watch this. Risky devil hash coming right out! Whoa, 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 whoa. Cook put us up to it. Oh, really? Piggy masks? What are you trying to say? Honestly, you're the designated divider of the pizza. What can I say? That just takes more slices than anyone and even finds ones outside of the trailer that may be a couple of days old, too. I can see that. These are the guys I wanted you to meet. What's up, dude? Seen your moves. Killing it. True that, bro? Yeah, but if you're serious about mobbing with these dudes, we gotta get more street cred. Gotta bust up that chassis. Yep. Destroy those wheels. Bang limiter and shred those tires. Yeah! yeah. All fun and games until your car ends up like this. Hey, it's Robin. I'm set to drift. Guess who'll be there? Risky devil. Wanna join? It's gonna be good. Don't say no. No. Well, they have noticed him. Hey, speak of the devil. I was just telling Spike the cooking company have been taking note of you. Wow, the risky devil have noticed you quick. Text everyone you know. Anyway, come by my place. They'll be chilling here tonight. It's gonna be a big night once they roll up. Wow, oh, 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 well, I'm bored. So, later. Oh, it's so frustrating. I don't know how you put up with it by not seeing anything on the outside, but on the inside, I want to whoop his ass. Just coming up for another night of risky mayhem. What's up, dude? You good? All right. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, hey. Do I want to dip? I got a dope new rat run downtown. Downtown? You know we can't go there. Hey, you. Risky Devil setting up a bunch of runs. It's all up for grabs, so just hit him up. They told me to hit you up, so that's saying something, right? That I gotta hit you up next now? Yo, dude, it's Cook. The whole crew's gonna run this massive train. Could use another driver that knows what he's doing. The only thing I know what to do with my car, how fast it is compared to everybody, is that I'm gonna be pulling away, so it's not gonna be a consistent train line. Hey, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? Got you something. Great. Can't even sleep anymore at this point. Oh, welcome to the party. You aced it. Yeah, bro, you're killing it. Honorary double, straight up. Putting the Ventura crew on the map, bro. All right, I'm gonna post this. Hashtag risky devil, hashtag best night ever. Hashtag monster, hashtag underground three, hashtag leaving spike hanging. Should we go inside? Yeah. Come on. Say, how come we never get to see the inside of the trailer? Man, I thought for sure you would get busted back there. It was nuts. We hit the intersection, and then these guys came busting through in like these sleepers, right? 5 0 screaming after them, man. Uh, I'm with Travis on this one. Okay. Pull over, pay up, 
Peace out. Traffic school's all online anyway. Yeah. One ticket won't break you. Multiple offenses? <laughs> You're gonna need bail money. More like a good lawyer if an officer decides to treat one ticket to like 10 offenses. True, but you can't outrun the cops if you know how. You drive a rat easy like that, dude. You pull into a parking lot and poof, you disappear. And you nuts. Ghetto bird be on you in a second. Next thing you know, you want a 10 o'clock news. Mugshot screaming, sorry, moms. Mm -hmm. Hey, he isn't wrong. Ventura PD doesn't compare to any other police department from other cities. Exactly. These cop baiters mess it up for the rest of us. Stay away from downtown is what I always say. Yeah. Why would we stay away from an area that we've already been isolated? What the hell is going on? No idea, man. At first I thought it was something I did, but then I saw how messed up it all was. There's cops everywhere and roadblocks. I'm talking epic. They want someone bad. Travis. You anywhere near all this cop stuff going down? No, not really. You see where the roadblocks start? Where aren't they? They got a huge section of downtown blocked off. I, I definitely stay away from there. The entirety of downtown is blocked off and it's not even police roadblocks that are doing it. Probably just a math teacher who told his wife he had a fantasy football draft. Uh, that's not what I heard. Travis says it's some Russian kid with a lot of money and a little brain. Oh, a friend of yours? <laughs> uh -huh. That's just all rumors, man. What, the guy or that you're friends with him? Well, whoever he is. Or she. Or she. The sooner they get busted, the better. Why do you care? Because it's got people tripping. And people don't spend money when they're nervous, man. Yes, they do. Depends on the situation. Hey. Of course I didn't forget it. So I will make sure they're gluten-free. <laughs> 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 oh, there's your math teacher, Ames. Cold-hearted killer. Oh, man, would you look at us? <laughs> when did our balls drop off? <laughs> Since we started drinking too much Monster. Sounds great. It was. I mean, I haven't felt that good about my ride in a long time. <laughs> Maybe we should all buy some lottery tickets with all the luck we've been at. Oh, man. Now... Why do you have to go and jinx us? <laughs> too much positive energy for jinxing Ames. Never too much. Hey, let's meet up at the Longhorn. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, cool. See you there. Not you, wise guy. We're not going to Longhorns. You and I are meeting up at the diner. Get over there. Now. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to play pool at Longhorns. Ow. Man, you don't back down, do you? Yeah, that was me out there. Surprised? Me neither. Neither am I. Post updates, it gave your contact away. The active mission description technically gave it away. And the word Chico gives it away too. Once you're on to this rush, you can spot a fellow tripper. It's all in the eyes, Chico. Impressive as you were out there, that kind of driving is gonna get you in a lot of trouble one day. Like I haven't already. Difference being that Ventura may have the tactics, but they don't have enough resources for pursuit tech and any other ways to stop suspects. You can't catch devils with angels. We welcome you. Not only to the group, but also welcome to hang out with them at the diner all the time. After seeing them in almost every cutscene at the diner. Yeah, ain't nothing like the buzz of real competition. Come on, drink with the big boys. Welcome back from the dead, brother. Welcome back. Welcome Welcome back. back. <laughs> and now we going back to the dead with all this monster. Let's skitty. Play nice, kids. <laughs> Cause I won't. <laughs> Neither am I. Watch. <laughs> Should it really be called Victory Lab if we're racing around here in two laps? Yo, hold up everyone. Don't go too far away. I got something organized. Too bad, I'm leaving. What have I been saying, huh? Riding with your circle. Nothing better. Mm-hmm. Second that. But I happen to know you ain't telling us everything. Again, blast? Okay, I'll just spill. One last race. Us six. And Ken, Magnus, 
Risky Devil, Nakai San, and Mr. Morohoshi San. Mr. Morohoshi, what now? Spike, sometimes you're so disconnected. Damn it, Spike, you just made me want to say Mushimoto Z had tires for no reason. Ow. Now, hang on a second. You said the sits of us against the icons that we impressed throughout this game, but Risky Devil is more of a crew rather than just one person. Wouldn't it make more sense to include the entire crew here instead of just Cook and Fish? Huh. So the player's a furry. Hey, remember what we talked about? Stuff for us to do? Here's how. We take all the great events we did with the guys and we redo the best ones. But we raise the bar this time. Make every second count. Real racing. I even managed to get hold of an old friend, y'all. Hey, yo, Robs. Hey, Travis, this sounds like a great idea. And I got the setup you asked for ready. Yeah? This is how we're gonna do it. We track it using this great new app on your phone. Robin put together some web code just for us. You didn't know I was quite the hacker, did you? You're a woman full of surprises, Robin. All right, you old smoothie. You just want me to make your parking tickets go away. Anyhow, we have five tracks. One for each of the guys in the gang. I even have my own, I'm proud to say. Uh-huh, and so do I. Gotta win each event in the track to progress. Makes it more fun. You know, off with the gloves. <laughs> and to top it all off, when we've done all the tracks, we redo the final race to show who's the star of Ventura Bay. Well, there's a bit more than just bragging rights to gain. We, uh, actually took all the cash out of Spike's little trust fund to rustle up some prize money. <laughs> he won't miss it. Spike will not be happy when he comes back. And then there's the rep you'll gain. So, check your phone to see the new app. Don't be proud out there, brother. Hell no! Hey, man. Got a thing coming up. Have you heard of this fella, Eddie, of the infamous Eastsiders? Used to rule the circuit. Had this killer girlfriend, Melissa, that I used to, uh... Well, you know, never mind. That's all ancient history now. Now remember, this game was said to be a reboot of the franchise. This doesn't insinuate that Travis was the player from the Underground series. All I'm saying that it could be a possibility he was with Melissa before she met Eddie. Look, there's 15 races to knock out the best line upgrade in Ventura, to square off with Eddie in one final showdown. You up for it? You need to run our app to track the races. I'll send you the download link. Which is giving me access to the app. There's no such thing as sending links to each other in this game. Heat 1. Eddie's challenge is on. And I've got Eddie himself here. Welcome, Eddie. Thanks. So, first heat, first racer. What do you say? They're all toast. Well, yes. Connors? Yeah. <laughs> all burned. Okay. That's Eddie. A man of few but precise words. No, he just likes his bread to be burned toast. It's Melissa here again. Now, I'm not saying I'm impressed, because, let's be honest, I'm not easily impressed. So, what does it take to impress you? Win over 110 events? Hey, Melissa here. Good race. Look, Travis and Eddie, they're like competitive brothers who've been at it for years. The old dinosaurs have been fighting over rides and ladies since who knows when. Which I assume it includes you, and a player swooped in and you was with him for six months. Key date is up. Once again, I have Eddie here. Hi, Eddie. Hello. So we're halfway there. What do you think of the challengers so far? Uh, most of them suck. Okay, so no highlights at all? Nah, they pretty much suck. Pretty much the AI in this game. Hi, this is Eddie. You know, from Eddie's challenge. Yeah, I know you're Travis's monkey. But I thought I'd drop you a line to say whatever Travis hopes to get out of this. Screw him, okay? Well, screw you too calling me a monkey. There's only one monkey, and may he rest in peace. Heat 9. Is it just me, or is it hot in here? Then turn on the AC. Or the fan. Or open the window, I don't know. Hey, Teddy. So you survived another one. Well, we won't beat until the final, if your luck will last you that far. Be a shame for you to crash out before you go up against some real talent. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That I'm gonna get blinded by the lights of an SUV, probably with a big ass light bar, and crash into it? Hey, don't forget that the guy that took your Skyline back in 2003 crashed it six months later for a similar setup like that. 
I don't know what you're trying to insinuate here, Eddie, but just say that. <laughs> Eddie, you a bitch. Heat 10. We're public now, so look out for cops. We've been public with the cops for some events now. Eddie here. So, Travis wasn't just talking you up. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on you. So, win or lose, you have my respect, okay? Later. So, check the app, or... Okay, I guess not. Heat 14, and it's almost the final. Eddie is here with me. So, come for the final leg? Yeah. You got that legendary skyline prepped for the final then? She's purring like a cat. Yeah, like a kitten. No, a big cat. Like who, Garfield? And no, Melissa's right. Your 2003 variant is a big cat compared to the kitten that is your 2015 variant. I don't hate the 2015 variant, but you and I know which one is the most recognizable. You've really got Eddie all riled up for the final. Haven't seen him like this in years. He's very focused. Are you? No, my attention span is cooked. Grand finale and Eddie's on the starting line. Go, go, go. I bet. <laughs> I know it's already been hinted that we were gonna have multiple opponents in the final event before, but it would have been better if it was just us against Eddie. You know, sing fitting with the wrath of Eddie. Hey yo, you got your hands on Eddie's car? <laughs> Hell, he's gotta be hurting, bro. Listen, keep it trashy, whatever. But if you sell it, I'll give you a good price to see Eddie's face with me behind the wheel. <laughs> Classic times, brother. Liar. I know this is a backwards compatibility issue on the PlayStation side. I don't know what it's like on the Sirius X and S. But throughout my journey of replaying this game again, I have encountered with some events where the timer literally doesn't work. Regardless if it's counting up or it's counting down. And it really has been an annoyance to keep on guessing or trying to find out if you're good in time or you need to pick up the pace. I wanted to ask this, but... How do cars exactly go inside the club's garage? Because it's just a big entrance with no pathway. You know, when I thought that this game was going to have audio system upgrades, I thought it would be something like Underground 2. Not what we have in terms of upgrading the sound a little bit and that you're only really going to listen to it when you're stationary. This one is for all the completionists out there, regardless of what version you're playing. This is saying that if you beat the game and completed the game before any of the updates came out. But don't you just hate it when you just completed the entire list of trophies and achievements that is there to get for this game. And then they decide to come out with more updates that includes more trophies and achievements to get. So basically that 100% that you've got in Need for Speed means nothing anymore at that point. Let me say this quickly about the drag races. It's cool that we have them, and we get to drive into our own starting spot, but honestly, Pro Street still did it better. These feel like mini sprint races. Until the time comes. 
or if the community decides to keep the game alive, which pretty much there is workarounds in doing that today, if I am not mistaken. Speaking of Ventura Bay, I'm looking at the weather app right now and it's raining, which obviously does happen in California in real life every now and then in this city, but it really shouldn't happen every single night, you know? We don't need rain to tell us that this game has pretty graphics, which, don't get me wrong, these are beautiful graphics, but do we really need water every single time falling from the sky and let alone having wet roads everywhere? I'm just... It's just, it's probably me. I mean, I'm not from California anyway, so what do I know? Now, the handling of these cars, they're awful, man. I mean, sure, you can get the hang of it and tweak around with the settings and your handling tune, but they're still terrible nevertheless. Which is why I insistently refuse to do prestige mode, and you should too. But if you are daring yourself, or you, I don't know, you hate yourself for some reason, you can do them if you want to at your own risk. Meta cars of doing it are the Huracan and the 911 RSR. It's up to you to find the right setup to be able to gold everything if that's your objective. And if you ever had an accident, which I assume you did multiple times, whether if it's skill issue or the game's handling, you had to be pretty annoyed or just not liking the crash cameras at all. Not just for having them, but also how they look. Not even get to see how your crash looks like properly. About the cars and the customization, first about the cars. It's an okay selection, perfectly fits in with the theme of Underground with a few muscle cars and a few supercars here and there, but they should have included a bit more. I mean, times change, people like different things. With customization, it's cool that we actually get to have aftermarket body parts. Not just aftermarket wheels like previous games, but actual body parts from this game onwards. Problem is, there's very little customization you can do with these cars. And in some cars, you can't even do anything at all. And yeah, some manufacturers hate it, some are not okay, or there isn't anything that you can do with these cars that they gonna come up with, but still. And in terms of performance, there are still some things that are included in this game that, for some reason or another, didn't return in future entries. Like various handling options. Overall, the game story is just... I'm not saying it's completely terrible, because it isn't and I get its premise, but it just doesn't have that sense of purpose, you know? Sure, it's cheesy in some areas here and there, but it just doesn't have anything home to write about, like from any of the black box here in Need for Speed games. I know it's one thing to impress five different icons by doing different types of events for the five different disciplines this game offers, but it's still not enough, honestly. For but one thing that should have been integrated into the story in some way, and even to the game in general, is being able to go to downtown. They keep teasing us of having it in the backdrop, but never able to go in there, in any street, for any reason, any mission, any time, anything at all, really. I hated it. But the transitions and the inclusion of in-game cars into the live-action cutscenes are actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. You know, I appreciated that this game had free updates. The activities, daily challenges, prestige mode, drag races, Eddie's challenges, anything that came throughout this game's history from 2015 to 16 was all for free. And of course, we didn't get a lot of new cars aside from the 2017 variant of the GTR, the Model 18, and the F-132, but all three of those cars were available for free. But the 2017 GTR should have at least had the same customization as the 15 GTR. Now, I'm not saying that they should have brought back EA Trans, which, I mean, they should have, honestly. But, I mean, it's either all the music gets to play everywhere, or just implement something that I just said earlier. But then again, we live in an era where people will listen to music from YouTube, Spotify, or wherever they listen to music anyways. Or they will just turn it off because they don't like it, or they're not gonna get paid from it if some music is heard in the background. Like right now. Wanna know exactly how many monster camps you probably have seen throughout all the people you've interacted with? 65 camps. I had a friend of mine, he goes by Bagsick, that did the math for me. How are they not dead? I do not know, honestly. Oh, and I almost forgot to ask, what engine were you running in your old Fox body? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, it sounds kind of different from what it would normally have. I know it's a V8, but it sounds kind of modern for an old Fox body, if you know what I mean. It's still more believable than what Amy's trying to do with her S15. I mean, it's an inline 6, but it kind of sounds like a 4-cylinder, so... 
I might be tripping. I don't know with that one. All I know is that that car is never going to get done. But anyways, I'm going to just start heading out, man. I'm pretty sure there's other things that I would tell you, but I'm pretty sure you'll find out on your own eventually. Uh -huh. Stop driving like a moron and stop your vehicle. Oh, damn. Yeah, dude, I really got to go. All right. See you later, man. I'm going to head back to the shop. Uh, you want to tag along? We can set you up some space. Ooh, she going to spiff you up, bro. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. You get pumped. Glass and tunes or something, man. Okay. Check that out. Okay, so you're halfway there. Mm-hmm. From the screen to the ring to the... Uh, oh, this is my latest obsession. Here. <laughs> is going to be my master build. I can feel it. I gave it to him. Relax. Relax? Yeah. Relax, that was my ride! I heard that. Mike, stop it. Chill, man. Come on. We're all on the same side here. Travis is just pushing you because he wants you to be great. I don't need his help. Now, new guy over here is getting all the credit. Yeah? What? Huh? Oh, you need to leave! You're not looking at me like that. He was asking for it. He got up in my face. And you? That's what your dumbass did. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 Cuidado in English. One, two, three, play juego. Uh, uh, Before this video ends, I want to take this moment and have a moment of silence that will last for the next 43 seconds from here on out in memory of Ken Block. Death is inevitable. Everyone is going to die at some point, whether we like it or not. We don't know when and we don't know how, but it's going to happen. But it shouldn't be something that stops you or concerns you from doing what you want to do. Regardless if it is to the group of friends and family that you know, or to the following of millions of people around the world, you want to have something or you want to do something that you want to be remembered for. Like Ken being an inspiration to millions of people, especially in the car community. Whether if it's from the Gymkhana videos, or from his rally career, or even his presence in this game, he will always be respected and be remembered for everything that he has done. But he will certainly be missed by a lot of people. Kenneth Paul Block was 55 years old.